G'day, this is Simon and James at a perfect South OC Cars and Coffee. Amazing turnout. We actually opened our doors a few minutes early just because we had such a huge lineup. What have you seen, mate? We have the Urus Performante, the purple one, back here again today. Wide body F430, wide body 720. It's a good day for supercars today. We're going to check that out in a second. What have you seen? Yeah, an amazing Alfa Romeo that we made car of the week a few weeks ago. Tons of classics, some really cool stuff. Don't forget, if you're coming to South OC Cars and Coffee, please remember, respect our rules. No speeding, no revving, no burnouts. That includes coming to and leaving the actual outlets, but also on the streets of San Clemente and getting on and off the freeway. All right, mate, let's go for a walk and check some stuff out. Let's do it. So here we have the 21016 cars. We have the 720S with a full carbon wide body. I know that we've seen this thing here a few times. You can see it has the beautiful blue carbon all over this car roof scoop. It is a ton wider than factory and over 400 pounds lighter. With the amount of horsepower this car has, it is a blast. And then next to it, we have a Chalk 992 Turbo S, again with a full uh, nine design package, which is the sister company to 1016. These beautiful Anarchy wheels, carbon from head to toe. These are two beautiful cars. This beautiful RS6 belongs to Jason, one of our long-term supporters, Jay's Two Cents on YouTube. Crazy uh, following, he does tech YouTube over there, and this is his beautiful daily, his RS6 in Merlin purple, finished with a satin PPF, probably the only one in existence. I've never seen this color with satin purple before. This thing looks absolutely beautiful, has a set of downpipes and a VF tune on there, makes about 800 horsepower. This is one proper daily. Here we have an Aventador SVJ Roadster with some very, very interesting options. This is a, uh, I believe it's a factory satin blue and you can see it actually has the exposed carbon lettering on there. So most of the car on the SVJ is uh, factory carbon and you can see this has the exposed lettering which is such a cool option. This car looks absolutely fantastic. Let's take another look at the Porsche GT4 RS. This car is absolutely stunning, finished in jet black with so many carbon accents, these crazy louvers, carbon ceramics. It's essentially a mid-engine GT3, has the beautiful buckets on the inside with the gray inserts, red seat belts. What an awesome, awesome car. Check out the wing on this 991.2 Cup car. So it started off its life as a turbo evidently and then now it looks like a full GT3. Super wide fenders on there. You can see beautiful aero, crazy lip and uh, wing on there. BBS, this is a awesome build. Here we have quite the lineup of modern Ferraris, two pieces and then the 812 as well. Really interesting kind of design on this. You can see it has almost like a, a uh, negative space stripe. So you can see it has little like black accents up on the uh, up on the hood and then same thing on the trunk as well. But it gives it this kind of uh, aggressive look. Very, very nice. Piece is beautiful, the factory classic red with the black and silver stripe. And then this one down here, of course, on the BBS LMs, once again, the beautiful gray with the silver and blue stripe too. These cars look absolutely beautiful. This thing just rolled in. Have a look at a beautiful little Lotus racing car. Um, I think we found our car of the week. This thing is hyper special. Look at it, absolutely beautiful on every angle. I love cars of this era. Look, quick release steering wheel here. Part of its aluminum body. Wow, this is great. Just got to try and find the owner and figure out who owns this because this car is really, really special. Everything that you did. I had to run back over here. This is a car that I've been waiting to see for a very long time. This is the brand new Audi R8 GT. The final edition, the R8 Limited, do only 150 units. Its thing is absolutely crazy. Rear wheel drive, 610 horsepower, so much carbon. These factory louvers, the really, really wide extended lip, carbon skirts, this crazy uh, LMS style wing. What an awesome ride. Wish you love me like I love you. It's Another club joining us this morning, this time Hyundai's. I wouldn't have thought that there was a Hyundai club this big, massive. Just about every model you can think of. So, so cool seeing all of these guys here together. Remember, if you've got a club and you want to come to South OC Cars and Coffee, reach out to us in advance so we can bring you in early and park you all together like we did with these guys. With you, I don't ever feel calm. 
I could feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats in the street You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free Great looking Subaru WRX STI over here. Ton of work done to it. Have a look under the hood. This manifold here, it's all been machined. Um, really, really neat. Wide body kit on it as well. Low, ton of carbon fibre. This thing looks really good. I love the colour. I, uh, the, the wide body kit looks great on it. Look at that beautiful uh, rear uh, spoiler up there. It looks great. Air ride on there. There's the tank in the back in there. What a great looking little car. I'm a fan of Subarus um, and uh, great to see that they've got people that want to do mods to them like this because honestly this is a great little car, I'm sure it goes really well, I'm sure it handles really well and man it looks great too. This Saab belongs to Bob. Bob is volunteer 001 and today is a sad day for us at South OC Cars and Coffee. Bob is actually moving next week to New Mexico so this is his last day volunteering with us so it's appropriate to talk about Bob's car the last day he's going to be here. Look how neat this thing is under the hood, he's just kept it really really clean. Now the interesting thing about this particular car is it was built the same year that Kirk Cobain died and here's the interesting thing, 80% of the time when Bob drives this car Nirvana plays on the radio. I kid you not, it's a true story. He actually videos it, sends us to it. It's kind of spooky. I think I'd be getting rid of it if I was him, but that's part of the appeal, he reckons. Great car. We're going to miss Bob very, very dearly. We wish him well with his move. He said he's going to come back and visit us uh, when he's over this way, and I hope he does because he's just brought such a great spirit to South OC Cars and Coffee. So, Bob, if you're watching this, thank you so much for everything you've done. So, I was just talking about Bob's Saab and Bob. Oh, Saab? Bob's. Okay, Bob. Okay. This is Bob, and uh, as I was just saying, Bob is leaving us to go to greener pastures. Actually, doesn't I don't know say if it's greener pastures. Actually, it's brown, uh, New Mexico, brown, so it's probably brown, browner, browner pastures. But, but, but Bob, you've been, you were our first uh, volunteer, aside from the photographers, Jay and Robert, obviously. You were our first volunteer. What are some of your best memories of South Ocean Cars and Coffee since joining us? <laughs> you know, I think every Saturday that I've been here has created just wonderful, wonderful memories. All of the people, the, your team, Simon, your team, and uh, the people and the car owners and the vehicle owners that I met here are, it's, it's all too much to talk about. It, the memories are all combined together and it's one great big memory of having been able to help you and your team at this great show. You have added this spirit of joy to the event since you joined us, mate. Uh, the most optimistic, friendly, happy person greeting people uh, when they arrive and we are going to miss that dearly, mate. You are so special to us. You will always have a special place in our heart of volunteer 001 and we actually made some shirts <laughs> For Bob that says crew 001. Well, so. like, like I said, Simon, it's not like it's not goodbye, it's until we see you again. And yep. I know I'll be back to see you and, and all of the great owners that are here every weekend. And it's just been it's been it's been my pleasure. Mate, we, we love you, we're gonna miss you. Thank you so much, Bob. You thank are you so, <laughs> Simon, thank you so much for creating this. I mean, you should be very, very proud of what you and your family have done to create such a great show, the best show in the country. I appreciate sure. you saying that, mate, but it's like you said, it's you and it's everybody else that comes here that makes the show. So thanks for being part of that. Your family, Thank boss. You, Simon. Your family too. What that shit that I'll get it right now? I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. This crazy looking trophy truck belongs to, to uh, Josh, one of the uh, owners of Clubhouse Auto Storage, our latest sponsor of South OC Cars and Coffee. Um, You've got to check out the Instagram of this page, some of the jumps. What's your Instagram page, mate? It's, uh, it's just my name, it's Josh underscore Stabil. Yeah, go and look at flying, like literally, this truck in the air. This, this, this makes Bo and Luke Duke look like soft. I'll just say that. I was going to say something else, but I won't. The way he jumps this thing is crazy. I didn't think that was physically possible, but go and check out his Instagram page if you want to see flying trucks. This is one of the vehicles they brought today. They've also brought some of the other vehicles stored at the um, storage at the moment. This beautiful um, M3. I was a fan of this colour when it came out, still a fan now. This is the hero colour of this model, next to a GT3 RS. Uh, and then next to it, this amazing Alfa Romeo that's been a previous Car of the Week winner. This car is very, very rare. The, the front end on it, look at this piece of acrylic here. This is all factory, believe it or not. Just the most beautiful car. Look at the way the door handles is kind of Frenched in the interior. Make sure to go back and check this car out of the previous Car of the Week winner video. 
it is absolutely glorious this is beautiful design beautiful coach building um, just so elegant so classy on every angle so clubhouse auto storage there in San Juan Capistrano they've also got a clubhouse facility there pool table those sort of things as well uh, there's a link on our website make sure to check them out if you've got a vehicle classic car exotic you want to store it somewhere safe store it with guys who are clearly car guys make sure to check them out to make you sit listen to what they give don't ask questions shut your lid yeah don't ask questions shut your lid I need to run away from this and go get did somebody say sparkle? Have a look at this sled. How cool it is. Look at the paint effect on it. And, and the dog sitting there posing in the shot as well. Isn't this an amazing car? Same with the interior. We've looked at this car before. It's pretty darn cool. Ton of coach work on it. Uh, they look like caddy. Tail lights in the back. Ton of roof chop. And you imagine to chop the roof this much, the amount of sections you'd have to put in it to be able to make it the full size again. But look at the size of the flake. So the roof flake is larger than the flake on the rest of the panels, which is kind of cool. And yet it's the same colour. Got that classic sort of mercury look on the front end. This is super cool, huh? Super tough looking 1977 Trans Am here. A little rubber on the back of this thing. Great looking interior. This thing has obviously been resto modded on the inside. Modern gauges in there. Got a roll cage. Very, very cool. Under the hood, running a small block Chev, but uh, alloy heads, AFR heads on it. This thing looks tough. Decent long tube headers on there as well. This is a cool, cool, cool looking Trans Am. And next to it, not to be outdone, Mustang. Look under the hood here. Very, very tough looking small block, but interesting. Notice the clear covers on the valve cover. So you can actually see the rockers working in there, which is kind of cool. Um, real high valve covers too, which is great, which means they wouldn't get oil splashed up on them. If you had a standard height valve cover and that you had clear top, they get covered in oil. Uh, running uh, FI Tech, which is the fuel injection system, bolts onto a standard uh, four bolt like a Hollywood or Rochester or whatever carb as well. This thing is super clean under the hood. Look at it, really, really nice looking. Very, very neat. But tough looking too, huh? Couple of very cool classic cars side by side. Great looking 1929 Ford. How long have you owned it? It's actually, I brought it here. It's a friend of mine. It's uh, family owned since 1963. That's it's like this original paint. He put that flagpole eagle on the radio. Ah, oh, that's, that's so cool. Uh, I can't tell the difference. T or A? Model A. Model A. How's, how can you tell the difference, you know? You know, at the later Model A's, like the 26 and the 27, sorry, the T's, the last of the T's, they look really similar. Yeah, that's what threw me. But uh, you, once you look inside, there's no s shifter. It's oh, yeah, yeah, because they, they were kind of pigs to drive, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you know how to drive them, they're fine. Yeah. But this is a little Survivor A. Oh, this is great. Um, and I wonder if that was the original colour or whether it's been resprayed sometime during its life. I would bet it was sprayed sometime. Yeah, they, they used to say that uh, you, with a lot of those old Fords, you could have any colour you wanted as long as it was black. But that was, it wasn't actually true. The fenders must be black. Everything else goes. Yeah, exactly. Really cool. Hey, thanks for bringing it out. It's a great looking car. Really appreciate it. If you were just walking past this thing, you go, oh, it's a Liberty uh, Subaru station wagon. Not know a lot about it. Well, in fact, this is a import. This is a Japanese import right hand drive notice it's actually a gt and it's got a two uh stage twin turbo setup in it these are actually a quick little car in japan they were i mean let's face it it's like a family looking station wagon but the gt was really really quick i knew a guy in australia who imported one from japan to australia many years ago and the poor guy just kept having major 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 problems with the computer which just kept shutting down all the time ended up getting his money back for it and it was sad because he was looking forward to it because they actually are quite an iconic car but the thing is a lot of people particularly outside of japan don't know what they're looking at when they see one come in
Got some great cars along Rockwell Road this morning. This has been a previous car of the week winner, this beautiful 67 Camaro. Uh, tons of carbon fibre. Notice the front bumpers, the lip, the rims, the mirrors. There's so much stuff. This car is so beautifully done. Once again, go back and look at our previous car of the week winners to check this thing out. Rear spoiler. All the carbon is just such beautiful, beautiful quality. Uh, and then under the hood is an LS9, which of course was the motor that uh, Chevy put in the uh, ZR1 Corvette and the C6. Um, great motor. I think one of the best motors Chevy has ever built. So beautiful car. Check that out. Next one, what an interesting 1958 Volvo panel van. Now, we had a Ford from Australia panel van a few weeks ago, if you remember. This is Europe, Australia, those sort of places were building vans like these for delivery. So this thing is really, really interesting. Um, it'll just have a very simple, uh, the old B20 Volvo four-cylinder motor. Uh, it's actually got a uh, four on the floor, which is interesting for this era, but great looking car. And then away they go down the road. Let's have a look at some more. I heard this thing pull in and immediately could tell looking at it, but also listening to it. This is not the motor that came in a 240SX. The holes in the hood would indicate under here, LS transplant, big ass turbo sitting there. Have a look at that thing. And I could smell when it came in running on E85. I said, hey, you're gonna run it on cor corn. Let's tip some popcorn down there and make it useful and pop some corn at the same time. This thing is killer. Uh, it sounded so tough, massive rubber on the back running Mickey Thompson uh, ET Street R drag radials, which are cool. This thing's super clean under the hood. Have a look at that. Two smallish turbos underneath there, but really clean. I love the way this has been done. Just understated in some respects and other respects. Really nicely done. Have a look at the size of the tires on this thing. It's got uh, Mega Rex written, Rex written on the side. This is obviously like a 350 or something, and it's actually just been lifted, turned into something enormous. Have a look at all of this under here, all the work, suspension and everything. Mega Raptor, it really is mega. I mean, when it came in, it's absolutely huge. Hard to get the scale unless you look at some of the people standing around it. Their heads are sort of coming up just uh, above the fender level. This thing is massive. That is it for a busy weekend here at South OC Cars and Coffee. Please remember, if you are coming to the event, remember no revving, no speeding, no burnouts at the property as well as on the uh, streets of San Clemente and then getting on and off the freeway. Do want to keep the event going. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to all the sponsors. We have the Bracketeer, Way Marketing, McGuire's, Polestar, PDM Brands, Next Level Auto Protection, Vegetine Law, Happy Jewelers, Carbontastic, Polaris Slingshot, and then Clubhouse Auto Storage as well. I want to say a huge thank you to all the volunteers that help us put on this event each and every week. We could not do it without them. If you want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. So we handle all the volunteer rostering. And then while you're over there, check out the few new designs that we have. New 4th of July shirt, this, and then one other one that's going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, if you do volunteer, you get to bring your car in before 8.30. And then Ruby's down to Dazzle will provide a free coffee and donut for everyone helping us out. Yeah, big thank you to Ruby's for doing that. We really appreciate that. And feeding the masses while they're here as well. Thank you to the Outlets to thank many for allowing us to be here. We couldn't do the show without them. So remember, if you need to do any shopping, come to the Outlets, tell them South OC Cars and Coffee Center. You. And of course, big thank you to the city of San Clemente as well. That is it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.